I do the Ashi. He pushes the foot off. Stretch. That's guard. Hands on the floor. Up in base. Pull him in. Put him down. Knee slice. He escapes. Bridge. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. I didn't know if that was fun. <laughs> Back to the guard. Knocks my hands to the mat. Holds my head. Hips out. Clamp. Trap triangle. Scoop the leg. Tap. Guys, nothing new, right? Like everyone, just like the other day, I'll show it one more time, okay? Do we have any questions? Okay, if you want to start going, go ahead, start drilling. If you need to see it one more time, here we go. One, two, three. Bottom of side control, pommel, front headlock, sit through, strip, Face, two on one, and then to the Ashi, he pushes, stretch, to the X, up, put him down, you know what we're doing, we get knee slice, bridge, close the guard, bump the arms, and up, good, clamp, scoop. All right, guys, one, two, three. Kim, how are you? I'm good, Professor. Good. I was like in a little bike accident this morning. You okay? Yeah, you should, like icing my knee, do you see this oh. thing? Yeah, yeah, ow. And I have it on my, my hip hurts, my mm -hmm. arm. It was the biggest bike accident I've been in before. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is what, am I training jujitsu? I gotta get me get my cardio. <laughs> I hear you. Gus, go ahead. Do you have a question, Gus, or? Yeah. Hi, Gus. You're on mute. You're on mute. I was trying to figure it out. Um, maybe if you move the camera down a little bit, I think we might be able to see better the technique. Me? Yeah, I saw everything. Yeah, I think that might be a little better. Okay, sorry, it might have just gotten bumped. My fault. No, it's fine. I was trying to text it, but I couldn't figure it out. Just the same flow as always. Good guys. Good knees, yeah. Good, good. Okay, bring it in. So now we didn't do this on Tuesday, but we did it last Thursday, where we switched sides on our X guard, okay? So we were on X guard on one side, and then we, we uh, weren't as skillful as we could possibly be, and we let the person get their weight on their foot, so we switched the side on the X guard. You ready? So, Is it you're switching sides, yeah. So back up a little bit. So here's Cannon. He's got me in the X guard. Right, push his foot off. He stretches me out. Boom. Okay. But I'm able to recover. And when I go to recover, all my weight goes on the leg that he's holding. Okay. But remember, my other leg came close. So he takes his hand. He scoops. Okay. Then my whatever hand scoops that shin is going to go to the other knee as this top leg drops out. 
He pulls the leg to my shoulder, stretches me out, and then goes to the X guard on this side. And then from here, puts my hands to the mat, and then gets up in base. Yeah, up in base. Yes. And puts me down, and then the whole thing will continue. So again, he's on the Ashi on the one side. I push the foot off, he stretches me out, boom. I recover, scoops my leg, pulls it to the shoulder, drops the one knee out and the other leg over. Stretches me out, gets his X guard, holds my knee here, and now the bottom leg steps on the knee, this leg goes on the ground, top leg, and he gets up and base into the closet. Okay? Gus, was that better? Could you guys see better? Okay. Everybody, what I want right now with a partner, left leg or wrapped around in the ashi. One, two, three. So you get to the ashi, transfer to the X guard, stretch them out, but they recover. They get all their weight back on their right leg. They step their left leg close to you. So your right hand scoops their right leg. Go, I'm so, uh, their left leg, sorry. You drop your left leg out of the space and put your right shin behind their knee and stretch them out. Go, good. Now, enter the X guard, because you brought the, yep, just enter an X guard. Good, and now stretch them out again and get up and base. Go, stretch them out again. Other foot on the floor, Whitney, there you go. Good, put them down, put them down. Good, now they enter the Ashi, go. Enter the Ashi, that new person, enter the Ashi with your left leg. Good, go to the X guard. Good, they recover, so your right hand scoops their, right, their left leg. Take your knee and stretch them out, go. Good, and now stretch them out again and up on the X guard. So now for a little bit here, guys, I just want X guard for X guard switching. Go ahead. Good. Ange, can you go back for me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you a little bit. So, he pushes your foot off, you go to X guard, go. Good, he recovers. Take your right hand, scoop his leg. Good, now look, take your right shin, okay? Drop your left leg out of the way, just put it back towards the dog, and put your right shin behind his other, behind the knee, yes. Now push from there, go, push him out from there. Now go to the X guard from here, now move your feet. Just uh, put, put your right foot in front of his thigh. Cross your feet, yes, there you go. Do it again. Just that part again. Jenna, do you have a question? I'm watching him to get the okay. same thing. <laughs> Good, so he recovers. Scoop, shin in the knee. Get your other leg out of the way. Get your left leg out of the way. To your right shin, yes, stretch him out, go. Now, put your left leg where your right leg is, and now put your, nope, 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 shin on the knee, yes, and now put the X guard in, good job. Josh, what up, homie?
Okay, guys, time, bring it in. So we are gonna enter the Ashi from the bottom of the turtle like we did on Tuesday, okay? So we are gonna be on a single leg on the bottom of the turtle, okay? And from that position, we're gonna enter the Ashi from there. Here we go. I'm on the bottom of the turtle, okay? And I have single. My hands are gonna plant and I'm gonna walk over towards the leg that I'm holding. My inside hand, okay, which is my right hand right now, hugs the hamstring. My outside hand, which is my left hand right now, slides back to his, hip, his ankle. I put my foot, his foot up in my hip. From here, I sit up and slide, okay? My leg into the crotch, and now here I am, foot on the hip. He stands, pushes my foot off, I make my first X guard, he recovers, I blow a little bit, oh man, this one's gonna be hard. I scoop his leg, stretch him out, make my second X guard, okay? And then you're gonna do the whole flow from there. I can't quite switch X guard to X guard with him, okay? But we're gonna do a whole, we're gonna go back to the flow. Well, you'll, you will pass the guard, they'll replace the guard, and then triangle. Does everyone understand the flow still? Okay, but let's look how we enter the Ashi again. So here I am. Plant hands, walk, keep the leg up. Hold the hamstring, slide back, hip pocket. Slide to the Ashi, he stands, and now here comes the X guard stuff. Everyone understand? Any questions or concerns? So real fast, I would like one person to grab the other partner's right leg for me. Bottom of the turtle. Head on the inside on the single. Good, plant your hands on the mat. Walk to your left, go. Okay, step up your left leg, just your left leg. Now pick up their foot, grab their ankle and pick it up so it's in your hip. Good, now slide to the Ashi, go. Yes, they push your foot off, X guard. They recover the X guard. You switch the X guard, up in base. Right into the bathroom, perfect Iggy. Pass the guard with the knee slice. They replace, they recover their guard, and then they triangle you. All right, let's switch roles after the triangle. Let me, I just wanna see, after the triangle, I wanna see everybody hugging your partner's left leg for me. So the other way can go. Head on the inside, and there you go. Okay, here we go. Plant the hands, walk to the left, step the left leg up. Pick up, slide your hand back to their heel, good. And then slide to the Ashi, go ahead. Slide your knee in between their legs, right knee in between the legs, good. And now we know what we're doing. They push the foot off, X guard, stretch, they recover, good. Switch your X guard, good, stretch them out. Up. Knee slice, guard retention. Triangle. Both. Both. Good work, guys. Now just switch back and forth on the flow.
Jenna, let me help you with your transition. So put both feet on the inside to start in the, to get to the ashi. Nope. Just put both feet, yes. And now kick your left leg through and then wrap the leg. Good, now go to the X guard, good. And now with your right hand, if you want, scoop the other leg. It's kind of hard because you have to hold the dummy up. Yep, and now you're gonna pull, move to me, move to the right there. Nope, your head, your head, your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jenna, don't do this. It's, it's, too hard with, it's too hard with the dummy. Just do one X guard and get up. It's too much work with the dummy. <laughs> Good guys. Okay, time, let's bring it in. So now we're gonna switch to our back taking series. Okay, so after the switch of the X guard, you're gonna take the back. So everything's gonna be the same except we're gonna take the back off the switch of the X guard. After we take the back, they'll jump out of the hooks. We will recover the back and then finish the choke, okay? So here we go. Kane, are you ready, dude? Yeah. You're doing it. Uh, so here he is, he's in the ashi. Good, I push the foot off, X guard. Boom, I recover, he switches his X guard, scoops, gets to the other side and the X guard. Yep, good, and X guard. Let's back up a little bit. From here, he puts my hands to the mat, scoops my leg with his free hand, passes my foot to the other side, goes behind to the crab ride. Okay, knocks me forward. Let's face this way. And now look. I want everyone to cut the hip with your left hand and then come up to the right. Seatbelt grip, put the knee in the space. Don't get me. Okay, he steps over my foot, pulls me over, and here we are. Okay, but immediately I'm gonna defend and jump out. So he's gonna hold tight, leave my back, get up on his knees, Sit me up, walk to the choking side, put the hook in, fall over, and now he chokes. So again, Ashi, X, I recover. Scoop, shin, knee. Yes, stretch. X, hands to the mat, to my back. Crab ride, up. Go to your right, please, so I can help everybody uniformly. Seat belt grip, good, tight. Steps over. Takes my back. I jump out of the hooks. He's very tight here. On the pump. Good. He gets up, sits me up. Stay tight. Good. Remember, head here. His head's tight. He's leaning into me. Walks over, hooks in, and now we're going to finish. I have something in the chat. Let me look. Oh, no worries. Any questions? Okay, so let's just start one person in on the ashi. Left leg around on the ashi, please. Don't touch it. Okay, and X guard. Switch the X guard. Good, put their hands on the floor. 
Left hand scoops their leg. Go underneath, take the back to the crab ride. Knock them forward. Left hand cups the hip. Get up on the right side, go. Good, your right knee should be in the space. Your left foot should be stepped over their right foot. Take their back, go. They immediately jump out of your hooks. Hold the grip tight, get up to your knees, turn them on their side, sit them up, walk to your right, put the hook in, choke, fall over and choke. Left hand to left hand first, chin on the hand, very good. All right guys, just this one person go and then we'll switch. Boo Boo, is that a, C, a CrossFit yeah. level one shirt? Sure. Professor, I like this stuff. This is, this is interesting. I'm well, trying to watch- in the flow, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a little trouble seeing and maybe it's just because junior son. I was trying to watch Gus and Jazz, but they're so dark and just the class? switch, like yeah. when they're switching, but when you're switching, how are the legs going? And then when are you pushing out? So you're pushing out twice, okay? Right. So when they recover their weight, okay, mm -hmm. your free hand will immediately scoop that leg, the new leg. Mm -hmm. yeah. And whenever that new arm that just scooped, that shin is gonna go over to the other leg so that you can start knocking their balance off immediately. Does that okay. make sense? Okay, that makes sense. So that will push them out and keep them from right. mounting you or knee on right. belly or whatever, okay. And then you'll make your X guard and then you'll push them out again. Oh, so your foot's gonna come, okay. Yeah. That makes way more sense, thank you. Okay guys, let's have the other person go. Start in the Ashi for me. Jenna, I don't know if you're gonna win that fight with your dog, he, they, he might eat the dummy. Okay, here we go, go to the X guard, go. Good, they stretch them out, switch the X guard, go. Good. Now, take knock of their hands to the floor so you can take their back. Left hand scoops the leg. Good, go behind, crab ride, put them forward. Good, left hand cups the hip, get up to your right. Good, your right knee should be in the space, you should have a right-handed seatbelt grip. Take their back. They immediately jump out of the hooks. Hold tight in the seatbelt grip, get up on your knees, sit them up, walk to your right, hook in. Yes, very nice. All right, guys, you're on your own. Boo Boo, turn that screen back on. Do you have a CrossFit level one shirt on? Did you steal mine or did you get your level one shirt? Good, Ange. Nicely done. Nicely done, Kiana. Good, everybody. Okay, bring it in.
Okay, so let's remember, we're on choking side and we're not breaking through, okay? For whatever reason, A, B, C. So what does that mean we do, okay? It means that we switch the side, right? We make an underhook side. And we have two ways that we can do that. We can either just pull them over to the other side, which is one way, but they can see that one a little bit, or we make two underhooks and we switch the side by switching our hands. You're gonna do it, are you ready? Oh man, let's go. So he's just tripping, so he was sitting, he just sat me up, stand up. On your knees, he's, oh, other way. Okay, he was just right here tight, he walked over to the choking side, put his hook in, and now, boom. So, back to the center, okay? And here he is, but he's trying to fight and it's just not happening, okay? So, he takes his left hand and he grabs my left hand. He takes his right hand, he pulls it back and then puts it in my armpit. And now puts it in my armpit underneath. So he has two underhooks. He takes his hand out, his original underhook hand. He takes that out, grabs my face, and now he pulls my head up to the other side. And now he's got cross, now he's gonna make cross grips. Boom, boom. He traps, chokes me. When I slide down, he pulls my arm behind my head, rolls to the other side, puts his foot in my hip. And, oh, make that try to go by there, buddy. Yeah. Okay. So again, we're on choking side. You just took the back again. Okay. So he's not breaking through. So one thing I do want to show, remember, okay, when you put this underhook hand in, you can make that hand have a cross grip originally. Boom. And now the other hand, sorry, you okay? Hold my cross grip. And now the other hand pulls out. He grabs my face, pulls me up, moves his head, cross grips, traps my arm, crosses his feet if he can. Good. Ch chokes me. I slide. He pulls the arm up, rolls it through, puts the foot on the hip, blocks the hip, kind of up. Tap it. Oh, sorry, that one got tight. Yes? So guys, you're going to do the whole flow. I just want us to each person review that back switch real fast. So real fast, right hand and seatbelt grip fall to your right, please. Okay, ready? Left hand to left hand, go. Now lean back a little bit, insert, uh, just fall over Jazzy up. Okay, insert an underhook with your right hand, but take it over to their left hand so you have a cross grip immediately. Now pull your left hand out, grab their face, put it on the other side of their head so their head's on top side, cross grip, trap their hands. Good. Switch back, choke them. Good, they slide down. Pull the arm behind the head. Roll it through. And triangle. Good, let's have the other person go. Okay, ready? Just fall over to the right. You have right hand and seatbelt grip, yep. You're on the choking side. Pull your right hand back, insert underhook, and make a cross grip immediately. Left hand out, grab the face, pull it up to the top side, yes, and make a cross grip. Good, trap the arm. Good, switch the hands back and choke them. They slide down, pull the arm behind the head, roll it through. Very nice. Okay, guys, I want the flow starting on that single leg. Okay, so start on the single leg, but I want it to end like that. Yes? Any questions? All right, one, two, three.
It's good, everybody. After you trap both hands, which side are you choking with? You hold on to both hands, and then which one do you pull out? Okay. So your question is, from this position, Jenna, yes? So look, my legs yes. are over and I track, and now I switch back so that my top hand is the choking hand. Okay. okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, everyone, bring it in for one second. So I'm going to let you keep going on the flow, but I just want to explain this shin on the switch of the X guard real fast and why it's so important. It doesn't seem important now. It almost seems like a hassle to put your shin behind their knee, okay, on that switch, because you want to just put your X guard in right away. But when someone's going to be trying to pass your guard, remember, they're not just going to be standing above you doing nothing, right? You have to do something immediately to off balance them. So what I'm saying is Canyon's in the X guard. Oops, spin around the other way. He's in the X guard here, right? I recover. He scoops this leg. Look, if he just tries to put an X guard, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to pass. So that's why he very quickly has to get his shin right here. He's stretching me out. Boom. So that I can't just jump right over his legs. Does that make sense? Okay. Even the Mendez brothers, who are little tiny dudes, okay, that they put the shin in there so that they off balance the person right away. Does that make sense? So even if you can skip that step, it's only because your partner's not actually training with you, right? If they were training, they would just mount you. You have a question, Kiana? Okay, guys, does everyone understand what I'm saying there? Go back to the flow, let's make sure we put that shin in step. We're gonna do one more technique in a minute. One, two, three. Oh, what I showed you, you did that. Hmm? Sorry. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. Good. That's it, Iggy. Does that make sense? That was very good, Iggy. Looks good, everybody.
Okay, bring it in. Last move for tonight. Get him, Jazz. Get him. <laughs> the wave of the finger. The MJ. Uh, guys, so what we're going to do is the other, another option of when they, when they start to escape their hips. Okay? So rather than getting up, it's one of the ones that we did way in the very beginning where you take your top leg over and do this hipping in action and actually switch to the other side, okay? And then from there, we're gonna finish with 100%. So Kane just took my back and he's on choking side. Boom. Now here I go. I start to escape, but he feels this. He doesn't let me get all the way out. He doesn't let me get over his leg. Okay, so go back. So he feels me pushing his leg down. He puts his foot to the floor, holds the grip tight. His top leg comes all the way over. Now look, he's not gonna be able to pull me, so I'm gonna have to help him. But you're gonna use your bottom leg to hip yourself in and then pull all the way over to the other side. So now here you are on underhook side, heads tight. Now from this position, he tracks hands. One, two, tracks the arm. Good, switches back, hand in the armpit, gets up on his elbow, pulls it out, rolls back. Locks the triangle or his feet so that we're in the 100%. I'm gonna walk you through it, okay? So everybody start choking side, please, with the right hand choking. Fall to the right for me. Fall to the right side, you're on your right side. Now look, they're gonna start, you're, they're gonna start to try to escape, but you're not gonna let them. Your left leg goes over the body, all the way across to the floor, and now you're gonna use uh, your left leg all the way across her body, Gus. Yes. Now, you're gonna use that connection right there to pull them to the other side. Go. Yes, put the hooks back in, and now you're on underhook side. Trap hands. Good. Now, take your right hand, put it in their armpit, Pull your left elbow out, roll it back to the choking side. Lock that triangle, and now here we are, 100%. Good, let me have the other person do it. Okay, right hand choke, right hand grip. Oh, come here for a second. Fall to the right. Okay, they start to escape. Put your left leg all the way across the body and pull them, go. Good, now you're on underhook side. Cross grips. Trap. Right hand all the way over to the armpit. Get up on your elbow, get up on your left elbow, pull them over, finish and choke. All right, guys, bring it in for a sec. There's one mistake I'm seeing everybody make, and then I'll let you flow. It's an easy fix. So, so here we are. Look, okay, I feel him reaching down and trying to escape. Look, this is my motion. Does everyone see my bottom leg, which is my right right now? It's still in front of him. If he gets over that leg, get over it, I'm doing this, okay? If, that's, if they get over that leg, there's no way I'm going to try to hold that back, okay? So go back. But we're here and I catch him, okay? So look, my foot goes out. 
My foot, other foot is making this connection. I have a closed wedge right here. If I can lock the triangle, great, lock it. And now, pull it over. Does that make sense, guys? If they get over your leg, you're doing the other recovery. Okay? All right, guys, one, two, three. Whole flow, couple minutes. I know, guys, Kanan's gonna take off. Bye. I know I'm running a couple minutes late here, sorry. Cross grips, good and. Gus, the only thing that I, hey Gus, the only thing I don't like that's happening, after you trap the arm, okay, and you're rolling back over to lock the 100% are good, you're opening your feet. And when you open your feet, they can slip their arm out. Keep your legs crossed. So fall the underhook side for me. Good, okay, so go ahead, pull, them to the un pull it to the underhook side. Good, trap the arms. Now, now don't uncross your feet. Your, your feet cannot uncross. Yes, now get up on your elbow, roll it through, yes. Good, and now you pull the triangle tight if you can. Yes? Looks amazing, guys. All right, time, bring it in. All right, guys, good work tonight. So look, we're just gonna do all these creative ways of uh, taking the back, right? Like we did with, uh, like we've been doing with the crab ride position, okay? We're gonna add in some different ways of get like, uh, so from the crab ride coming up to the turtle, some other ways that we're gonna make this back take thing happen. It's not always gonna be as simple as we've done that, uh, here. Um, and then we're gonna just mix in all of the ways that we recover the back, okay? That we recover the back, that we switch our sides over and over and over again, okay? And that's all this is. That's all the back, that's all that the back attack is. You know most of it. The only thing we don't know is a little bit of uh, the twister stuff, but uh, there's no twister over Zoom, <laughs> okay? Like, uh, there's no teaching the truck and the twister position over Zoom. That's just not happening. We'll do that when we get back to the class, and, I'm, and I can be with you. So, um, but other than that, man, it's just all about, like, oh, tricking here, hiding this and going there. So, man, we will... Uh, 
we'll, we'll take it from there. Um, I hope you all enjoy your weekend. It's supposed to be rainy this weekend a little bit, huh? But like I said, I like, I like nighttime rain. So, um, man, thank you all very much, you know, and we will talk next week. So if you guys want to turn it on. Thank you, Professor. Thanks, Professor. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Professor. Thank you, guys. Oh, Gus, look at those shoes. Thanks for turning the light on. It was good to see, watch you guys. Which that last rep that? was pretty smooth. We'll see you, you in the town hall.